Getting yourself and your bookmarks organized in Chrome is a tremendous time saver and one of the best ways to effectively keep track of things. There are a few places to bookmark items. One is the bookmarks bar, which shows here across the top. And you have the other bookmarks folder, where people commonly create a subfolder structure. But you can also use folders to maximize the limited space on your bookmarks bar. First, let's add a regular bookmark that is extremely useful. Go to Chrome Extensions, or visit the snowman dots and choose More Tools Extensions. It's very wise to have this page bookmarked so you can easily toggle on and off extensions. To create a bookmark shortcut, click the star at the end of the URL address bar. The save location will default to where you last saved a bookmark, so make sure to double check it. I want this shortcut on the bookmarks bar, so I will select that and then choose Done. And there's my bookmark. I can right click to edit the name or delete it. There's only so much space on the bookmarks bar and using folders to group similar items will really help you maximize space. Right click on an empty area of the bookmarks bar and choose Add Folder. Title your folder and make sure bookmarks bar is selected before you choose Save. Now I'll navigate to several of the pages I use frequently, such as the RV homepage, and click the star to bookmark them. Before I click Save, I'll make sure to select my school folder. Now I have a folder on my bookmarks bar for general school links, and I can see the RVHS bookmark right there. I will visit campus and any other school tools that I use semester after semester and add them to my school bookmarks folder. Now I'm going to create a different folder for links specific to this semester's classes by again right-clicking and choosing Add Folder. This one I'll call Spring 2020. And now I'll visit the relevant teacher websites for this semester and bookmark them in my folder. For Schoology or Google Classroom classes, I recommend going to each course's landing page and bookmarking that, so you're taken directly where you want to go, not just the login page. And remember that you can edit the bookmark's name to be shorter if desired. If you accidentally saved a bookmark in the wrong spot, you can drag and drop items from the bookmarks bar into your folders. And you can drag items from one folder to another, which is useful since I have some classes that continue to the next semester. You can also use the three dots to visit bookmarks, bookmark manager, to rearrange your bookmarks if you prefer this view better. To delete a bookmark, right click on it and choose delete. If I delete a folder of bookmarks, the folder and all the bookmarks inside are cleared from my bookmarks bar. This makes it much easier to get rid of a group of bookmarks that you're not using anymore. Folders help you become more strategic with resource management, and if you've ever not been able to locate something that you once found online, bookmarks can help prevent that frustrating researching for it. When you're given assignments that are likely to involve multiple web resources, create a folder, then you can bookmark web resources that may be helpful as you run across them, and any of your own personal Google Docs associated with the project, so you can find what you need fast.